Alright guys, it's been a while since I've done any videos, uh, so I thought I would start out with the uh, Tecker days that I missed. Um, I've got for you guys a interesting little tip. Uh, you can take um, and use a phone or tablet uh, basically as a drawing pad in Photoshop because as you know, um, in order to buy a, an official, you know, drawing input device for Photoshop they can be pretty pricey or you know whatever program you need it for I uh, figured I'd share with you um, just a few little tips on other ways you can use a device you already have in order to achieve this goal now one thing to remember is it's not going to be as effective it's probably not going to work as good um, as the official thing mainly because the the way tablets and phones are designed as opposed to the way the actual drawing tablet is it's more pressure sensitive you know it can pick up different touches different uh, ways you're you know actually using it um, now the best device in my opinion uh, or the best line of devices that you can use is either a note phone or the note uh, series of uh, tablets the reason being is they come with an S pen um, and the S Pen is, you know, it's already included. It's basically a smart little stylus that comes with it. And uh, ideally, this works good for you because uh, these actual units are designed to pick up on the pressure that you're putting on there, which will allow you to do lighter and darker strokes, which comes in handy. So the first method that we are going to use is called Virtual Tablet. It's an Android app. Um, I'm going to show you how to get that set up on both your computer and your phone or tablet. Alright, in order to get this program, uh, all you're going to need to do on your computer is go to sunnysidesoft.com uh, slash virtual tablet. Um, and then you're just going to want to scroll down. Uh, you'll see you can read the concept and find out what it's about. Uh, to explain it to you, it basically is a software server. It uh, works over your network and it's designed to receive the pin input from tablet devices such as a Samsung Slate, uh, Galaxy Note, ATV, and Microsoft Surface. And then it transfers these inputs to the wirelessly connected server devices. Um, so once you go down, you go to getting started, uh, you'll see the download page, you'll also see a user manual if you'd like to check that out and read more about it. Uh, but I'm going to try to explain this so, you, so you'll know how to use it and set it up. Uh, just go to your download page, uh, you'll see the clients for uh, Android or Windows 8 uh, mobile, and then you'll see this application for Windows or Mac. Um, you just want to download the one that you've decided uh, you need, Windows, Mac, whichever you got. Okay, after we have the software installed, uh, it, you can see we've uh, started it up and um, it shows your, your server IP, um, your server name, and if you have uh, the Bluetooth connectivity. Now, that means we're good to go on the computer and now we have to get the application on the Android or Windows mobile device. Okay, there's essentially two ways to do this uh, with Android. Um, Windows, I assume you would just go, uh, like with the Windows desk 8 desktop, you go to the store and search for Virtual Tablet uh, by Sunnyside Soft. Now for Android, of course you can uh, go on the Play Store on your desktop and buy the app right there. It's $3.96, uh, so it's about $4, but it's a lot cheaper than going out and buying a drawing tablet, and it has a lot of functionality, so I'm going to say it's definitely worth it if you got the $3.96 for it. Uh, of course, you can do it this way, or you can go on the actual Play Store on your phone or tablet and download it on there. Uh, once you have it set up, open the app, and you'll see... Um, for example in this picture 
uh, it'll take you to this option uh, to put in the IP address of your server which you'll see right there you put it in you hit connect and now we're gonna move on to actually using the software alright as you can see we have the application set up on both our computer and our phone um, we're just going to go into Photoshop uh, we're gonna go to the option here that looks like a wireless signal touch that uh, make sure it matches up it usually will find it automatically you're just gonna connect Alright, as you can see, now that we have this application set up on both our phone and our computer, uh, we can simply begin drawing. You see as I move the, uh, the stylus across the screen, it interacts uh, with the program. There sometimes can be a little bit of lag, but it's not too bad. Um, so we're just going to start by drawing a simple shape. Uh, it would help if we selected our brush. As you see, I'm not quite the drawer, artiste, but you can see that this can have good functionality. Uh, you can draw different shapes with it. Um, if you're cutting something out, uh, you can simply, you know, use it as a guideline. Uh, I would say the pen tool. Uh, just, it's a little tedious for me. You can use it in that manner. Um, we can use it to paint the whole thing. So, you see, while it's not a perfect function, um, it really is pretty cool, you know, that you can use it, uh, you know, and, and, just different ways of course it would probably take some practice if you're not used to it um, but you can see simply if I use lighter brush strokes you know I can choose where I want to go draw lines uh, like I said it would take you know, some getting used to if you're not used to this kind of thing, but once you get a down pad, it could come really handy to do all kinds of different things um, you didn't know you could do with uh, your phone or your tablet that you already have. You don't need to go out and buy. I mean, if you can buy one and you really need one, it's going to be a lot better choice. But if you don't have one, you're looking for a cheap, uh, efficient solution in order to basically use a tablet or a phone is a drawing input device this would come in really handy guys this concludes uh, this video I plan to show you some other methods to do this to basically achieve the same thing using uh, different uh, software uh, and applications on your Android phone uh, the next one I'm planning to show you actually is more efficient if you don't have uh, a tablet or phone that uses an S Pen uh, it's more of a global uh, Android tablet, uh, even probably your iPads and iPhones will be able to do it this way. I don't think it's personally as effective, but it's going to be a, an option that should work with just about anybody. So I'll show you that one soon. Hope this video helped some of you. Um, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you put them down below. Don't forget to like. Uh, and definitely if you enjoy the content, please subscribe guys uh, so I can keep putting up more content to you. Any suggestions for anything you want to know or any videos you want to see, games you want me to play, whatever it is, just let, let me know down below and I'll see what I can do for you guys. Have a great day. So the next one I wanted to talk about is Sword Art Online and I'm going to start this one off. We're going to talk a little bit about because there's basically two seasons. Even though it's kind of weird when you say there's two seasons because there's really actually basically four because each half is... But there's two, basically there's Sword Art Online 1 and then there's Sword Art Online 2. Duh. Um, 